Hello everyone! Welcome back to a very, very special video. I'm DTM as always, and in case you don't know, uh, as of recording, it is the 10th anniversary of Fire Emblem Awakening. And when this video gets released, it will be Lucina's birthday, which is obviously such an amazing occasion. The 10th anniversary of Awakening, the game that personally got me into the Fire Emblem series. And in case you haven't followed my channel, Lucina is my favorite character of all of Fire Emblem and is a character that means a lot to me. And so, yeah, I really wanted to celebrate um, this momentous occasion. And I guess to do that, we will be making a tier list of all of the alts that Lucina has in Fire Emblem Heroes, because that's only what I know how to do, apparently. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, it, before we get into that, um, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz to help support the channel. Uh, let's mark this momentous occasion, occasion by uh, supporting one another. And yeah, I do really do appreciate all the constant support. And before we get into this tier list, this is a gameplay tier list, not like a unit concept or art tier list. If it was an art tier list, it would basically be Spring Lucina and Valentine's Lucina at the top because those are the ones with designs that are unique and really good artwork in my opinion, while the other ones are more like standard and in-game. I personally like more creative designs. Um, but no, uh, yeah, it will be mainly focused on the gameplay. And yeah, Lucina has quite the alts um, over the years. And we'll start with the one and only base version of OG Lucina. So yeah, OG Lucina, and by extension Mass Marth, because let's be honest, they're effectively the same unit besides the Resplendent, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> um, so OG Lucina is a Red Sword Infantry, and I guess it's been sort of a thing on my channel recently about my feelings on Red Sword Infantries. And Lucina is no exception. Red Sword Infantries are not really anything unique. Um, that doesn't mean that they can't be made to work by any means. Like, for those who uh, watch my Ether Rage videos, I've used OG Lucina quite a lot in Ether Rage The Vault of Heavens to great success. Uh, her refine, Sealed Falchion, is such an amazing refine for a 4 star weapon that is on, like, Chrom or Masked Marth. And it basically gives her plus 10 to all stats. Uh, only plus 5 to res, because IS was weird like that, I guess. And the impact effect, which is really good for an Omni tank. And if you pair that with Quick Propose, you get a pseudo no follow up. So you can effectively run just Spurn on her B and get both Spurn and no follow up effectively. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, though, she is still a Red Sword Infantry. Um, and so I don't think she is like S tier <laughs> by any means, but I don't think like anyone would like argue she would be S tier. But she is actually really strong as a Red Sword Infantry. Obviously not as good as something like Brave Marth or Ascend Marita, but she can still put in her own. So honestly, she gets a B tier for me, and also alongside with Mass Marth. Like, just because Red Sword Infantries don't stand out, doesn't mean that you can't make them work, and I've definitely made Lucina work. Might not be good or optimal by any means, and I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. But you know, if they're your favorites, you can definitely use them. Um, which unfortunately leads us to the next alt, which is uh, Spring Lucina. And yeah, um, Spring Lucina is a blue infantry mage, uh, one without a preference weapon. Uh, I feel like Spring Lucina got the short end of the stick when their IS decided to only refine seasonal units with preference weapons. So OG, so not OG, so Spring Lucina here is just left out to dry. Her stats, I love Spring Lucina's design and art, but her as a unit is just bad. Like, let's be real. <laughs> as much as I want to like build her and use her, like it's super hard and definitely just so painful to try to use. Um, she is really lacking on modern stats, like the attack and speed necessary to actually uh, do well as an infantry mage. 
And again, the lack of a preference weapon really hurts. Um, thankfully, she does have access to some good blue tomes like Juicy Wave or um, uh, what's what's the tome? Uh, whatever tome uh, Valentine's Veronica has. It's like a pack blooms. That's what it was. So at least she has that. Um, and you can definitely like use her in modes at a less competitive level. Like, I've, I think I've known... I've seen someone on the Face subreddit use Spring Lucina to great effect in summoner's duels of all places. So you can definitely make her work, but let's let's be real, she's not that great of a unit, so unfortunately, yeah, there's no reason really to use her as opposed to something like Ophelia. So unfortunately, I have to put her in D tier. Such a shame too, because I really love her art and her design. I, I think it's like one of the best of these Lucinas, and certainly one of the most unique. So yeah, IS, if you can refine Spring Lucina, that would be greatly appreciated. Please. <laughs> so yeah, on to the next Lucina alt, we have Brave Lucina. And Brave Lucina, for the longest time, I considered the best uh, CYL1 unit of the batch after the refines. Her ability to give the breath effect to her allies, to uh, um, physical allies, is extremely powerful and just enables so many builds. Like without her, um, you can't exactly run as many builds as you can. Like there are builds that require her to work and that's how good Brave Lucina was as a support unit providing that breath effect. And unfortunately, obviously, we do have the introduction of breath seals like Steady Breath, um, Darting Breath, and now Warding Breath. I presume Fierce Breath is coming soon, so that does reduce her niche quite a bit. In addition, we have other units providing that effect as well, like uh, New Year's Valoria or Thor on Astro Season. So she definitely did lose a lot of her uniqueness, but she's still extremely valuable support unit in that she also grants like plus three to all stats um, and then you can also do uh, double drives on the C and S and obviously run even pulse tie in the B if you are in um, Aether Raids or even in Summoner's Duels. So I still think she is an extremely powerful uh, unit. Not as good as she once was but still really good. And honestly, I probably still rank her one of the best CYL1 units. It's either between that or Ike, because let's be real, like, Brave Roy is completely outclassed by Eliwood, and Brave Lynn unfortunately got shafted with her refine, so it's definitely between Brave Ike and Brave Lucina, and I personally would put them close together. So yeah, honestly, Brave Lucina, I'd put her in A tier, not S tier. If it wasn't for Breath Seals, she would have been S tier, but because Breath Seals exist, she has to be in A tier, which is really unfortunate. But no, obviously it's still a super strong unit, and I still use her to this day, supporting my OG Lucina. Double Lucinas, you'd love to see it. <laughs> Alright, on to Legendary Lucina. Um, probably the most controversial one when um, the trailer came out, but hopefully we moved past that. At least I hope so. Um, Legendary Lucina is definitely the most unique gameplay-wise of all, all of Lucina alts, and definitely of a lot of units in Fae to begin with. Her Future Vision, like even without her remix, Future Vision was still a top-tier skill to have and made her a top-tier unit in Wind Season in Arena, because having mobility in Arena is super, super good and very valuable in a setting that is dominated by rallies just due to the scoring system. And further than that, like Lucina herself with her remix and refine, getting the Plegian effect makes her an extremely powerful unit in her own right. And especially the link effect in her weapon, allowing or granting the unit she's uh, future visioning being able to auto-double, like, that is one of 
That is an extremely strong supportive effect. Like being able to allow units to auto double to get through like wary fighter effects and such like that is extremely powerful and extremely useful and extremely flexible. Now obviously um, this does get stopped by uh, no, no follow-up. But I mean Brave Hector theoretically gets stopped by no follow-up and Brave Hector is still a god <laughs> in this game. Like no follow-up is not the end-all be-all. Um, although it does definitely um, limit her impact just a bit. But I, I personally still think she's very good, especially as as with the pledging effect, especially with the support effect. Like I made Fallen Edelgard double with Bold Fighter and Lucina supportive effect. And unlike um, August, she herself is also an extremely capable unit of being able to take down uh, foes as well. And so, yeah, honestly, Lucina, S tier, in my opinion. Super strong. Future Vision mobility is always extremely good. Being able to support with auto double is really good. And she herself, with that pledging effect, is really good as well. But yeah, last but certainly not least, can you believe that after Spring Lucina, uh, Valentine's Lucina was like the first new special hero after like five years? Kind of ridiculous. But anyways, we are thankfully blessed with Valentine's Lucina, who has amazing art and is in armor, and green axe armor as that. And so, yeah, she is a speedy axe armor, and I've definitely used her for um, near safe purposes, specifically in my Lucina emblem clears, and I think she is definitely a top tier uh, save unit. I've seen some people run her with far save, which I wasn't the biggest fan of, but I guess now with distant dart, she definitely can make that work a lot better because she's getting more speed thanks to that distant dart while not suffering from the recoil damage. And I've seen uh, some Miracle Lucina builds, Miracle Valentine's Lucina builds in Summoner's Duels recently, which is actually really strong. So yeah, she definitely can work as a far save unit. I personally use her as near safe unit, and she's extremely strong there as well. Being able to be fast allows her to check things like Brave Alm and Brave Erica. Unfortunately, she does get one shot by Legendary Nana, but regardless, she is still probably, I want to say, top three near saver in the game. Like, I think the only contest is um, Arden, uh, Gustav, probably Brave Edelgard too. Like, she's definitely in the top class of save units, I feel, and definitely going to be um, very impactful in the meta. Um, so I do think she is S tier. Now, I personally don't think she's as good as Legendary Lucina because Valentine's Lucina does face competition from other save armors. Like, again, the aforementioned Arden, Brave Hector, um, uh, even like Gustav or Black Knight, like there's a lot of near safe options that she does face competition from. And I think Legendary Lucina is definitely more unique and uh, probably has a bigger niche that has less competition. So I personally would rank Legendary Lucina still first, but I mean, she's still S tier. And so she is still a very strong unit. Save, as we all know, is basically the meta at this point. <laughs> so Lucina being able to save well and be one of the best save units um, definitely lends her to the S tier um, criteria. But yeah, uh, those that is my tier list for all of the Lucina alts. Again, I would mainly want to focus on gameplay because if I were to just focus on like artwork, again, it would just be Spring Lucina and Valentine's Lucina at the top because those are definitely the more unique ones. But gameplay-wise, yeah, I, I would say Legendary Lucina is at the top, followed by Valentine's Lucina in S, and then we have Brave Lucina from A, used to be S, but then IS introduced the Breath Seals, and then OG Lucina and Mass Marth, who are basically the same unit, um, sharing the B, because even though they may, might not be optimal or, like, great, they still could be made to work relatively well. 
And, oh man, I'm still so sad about this. Like, I ask, please, please give Sp Spring Lucina, like, anything, please. I'm begging you, I ask. I really want to use the Bun Bun, please. But yeah, um, thank you all so much for watching, and once again, uh, let us celebrate Lucina's birthday and Awakening's 10th anniversary. Um, yeah, I wanted to do something special, even though I'm like super busy this week, and hopefully you all enjoyed it. Uh, do let me know which Lucina alt is your favorite, whether that be gameplay-wise or um, art-wise. And yeah, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all the jazz to help support the channel. Only takes 5 seconds to subscribe, but it truly does help this channel out a lot. And I really do appreciate all the constant support. And yeah, Awakening turns 10. I'm so happy to have uh, been introduced to this game, and I'm so happy it introduced me to Fire Emblem, and by extension, Faye. And I'm so thankful for everyone that uh, I've met and I've been able to interact and chat with. You all are so amazing, and I'm just super grateful I have this opportunity to be a part of this amazing community. And yeah, thank you so much. This, oh my goodness, I'm going to get really, really sentimental, but I really do appreciate everyone and everyone's support. And yeah, it's so amazing that Awakening has its 10th anniversary, and it's, I'm just so happy to also celebrate Lucina's birthday at that occasion. But yeah, thank you so much, and see you all next time! Thank you everyone!